Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Ung Studio and today I'm going to be showing you how I make and engrave a leather valet tray. Let's get started. Getting started with this project, I'll be going over some of the basic tools and materials that I'll be using to make the leather valet tray. If you haven't seen my previous video on how I make a five pocket minimal leather wallet, I highly recommend you make your way there and you check out all of the materials that I go over. I won't be going into as much detail here, but I'll just go over some of the basic ones that I'll be using. In terms of the materials, I'll be using this beautiful red top grain leather that I have. I'll also be laser cutting the pattern for the leather valet tray using draft board that I have left over from a previous project. Moving into the tools that I'll be using for the leather part of this project, I'll start off with the knives that I'll be using. The first is a utility knife like this. It's a thicker knife and it's good for cutting straight edges. I'll also be using this X-Acto knife. The X-Acto knife with a very sharp tip is used for rounding any corners and also cleaning up some edges. I'll also be using this hole puncher. This is a rotary hole puncher and it has a variety of sizes that you can switch in between. I'll be using it for adding rivets to hold all of the leather valet tray corners together. I'll also be using this mallet with a corner punch tool like this to knock off the corners and round them. I'm also going to be using this edge beveler so that I can finish the edges and make it nice and, and smooth. And then I'll be using this here for setting rivets. So it requires this piece here along with the anvil. I'll also be using rivets. So it comes in two parts. You have this piece here that has a little um, a piece at the bottom. And then there's also the bottom edge. You'll see it come together later in the video. I'll also be using a scratch hole. This is going to be used for locating things on a piece of leather. Specifically for this project, I'll be using it to locate where the holes will be going for these rivets. I'll also be using this edge finishing tool here. This is just for burnishing. It's a wood burnishing uh, tool. And I'll be using this piece of sandpaper. It's a fine grit sandpaper just to smooth down the edges when I'm done. And then I have this piece of canvas cloth. You can see that is pretty old. I've used it a few times already. And then just a burnishing agent. I like to use tokenol. This is a very good burnishing agent. And if you've seen my previous leather video, you'll see how I use this to finish the edges of a five pocket minimal leather wallet. The last two things that I'll be using for this project is going to be a 36 by 48 inch cutting board like this one that you'll see in a majority of my videos, as well as a laser cutter from Glowforge. I personally like using Glowforge because of their interface, their customer support, and also just the community that they developed online. If you're interested in buying a laser cutter, you can use the link below in show notes and you can get up to $500 off of your Glowforge. That's it for the tools and materials that I'll be using for this leather valet tray project. Now let's move into the design and the sketching of the mandala which I'll be engraving onto the surface. So let's start with the art that I'll be developing and engraving onto this leather valet tray. I got into drawing mandalas a little while ago because I found that it helps keep me calm and focused through the day. I actually engraved the mandala onto the back of my iPad Pro, which you can see in an earlier episode on my channel. Now before we jump into the time lapse that I developed for the sketching process of the mandala for this leather valet tray, I just wanted to take a second and talk a little bit about this idea of perfection because I think it's important to talk about between us as designers and artists and just creative professionals in general. When I was developing the mandala art for this project, I found myself hitting the undo button a lot when I was trying to sketch in the mandalas app because there were some instances where I was just testing some ideas and I didn't like it and I wanted to go back and try another idea. After some time, I found that I, I was hitting the undo button so much and in my mind, I, I was telling myself that I would eventually just kind of cut it out of all of these edits and show you guys the time lapse of something that looked perfect from the beginning to the end. But instead I decided to leave it in because I want to show that everyone makes mistakes as they're drawing or designing and everyone has to find their own way for correcting it. Eventually you come up with a beautiful piece of art or a beautiful product. So with that, let's jump into the time lapse of sketching the mandala for this project.
Now that I'm done drawing the mandala art that I'll be engraving onto the surface of the leather valet tray, let's jump into the design of the valet tray itself. Using a drafting software, I came up with this leather valet tray design where all of the red lines are going to represent the perimeter of the entire valet tray. I'm going to cut this out using my laser cutter from Glowforge and trace it with my utility knife and my X-Acto knife to cut out everything that you see in red. That'll be the overall shape of the leather valet tray. Once that's cut out, I'll mark all of the locations for the rivets that I'll be using to hold the corners together. Those locations are shown with the circles that you see here in red. I'll take my scratch all, put it through the circle and prick the leather so that it makes a little indentation. Then I'll come back with my rotary punch, select the right size for the rivet and then center it with the prick that I made and punch through the leather so that I can start adding rivets. Before I add the rivets though, I'll take my edge beveler and bevel all of the edges, sand them down and finish them. And then I'll take the leather, put it back into my Glowforge and engrave the mandala art that I came up with in the previous step. The reason why I brought both the design of the leather valet tray as well as the mandala art that I came up with into Illustrator is because I wanted to take this opportunity to size the mandala art to fit exactly how I wanted to within the leather valet tray itself. So now that we have the design of this leather valet tray pattern and the mandala art correctly sized, let's jump into laser cutting the pattern and cutting the leather for this project.
I just finished cutting, tooling, and engraving this leather valet tray. It took about four hours from the beginning to the end. If I include the amount of time that it took me to sketch the mandala, it would be about six hours because it took two hours just to sketch the art that I put in here. So you might be wondering, why didn't I just laser cut the entire leather valet tray and why did I cut it by hand and then engrave it using the laser cutter? Well, when you laser cut or engrave leather, it ends up leaving behind this black soot material. It's because it's burning the leather to cut it or to engrave it and because it's burning the leather it leaves behind that residue and that residue is kind of hard to get off especially with a pattern as intricate as this. I'm really excited about how this leather valet tray came out, especially the engraving from the hand-drawn mandala and the level of detail that the Glowforge was able to get with the engraving. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think and follow me for more.